And here we are back again. Talk to Diego. It's a shame that we haven't got a bow to test out. Will you talk to Diego or not? <laughs> not bad, right? Well, it's not the best sword I've ever seen, but it's much better than what you had before. At least you'll have a real chance of winning a fight with this one. Anyway, you've already found something to defend yourself with, and this meat is inedible. If it's all right with you, let's go to the old camp. What do you think of Kayla? He gave me the sword. He's not a bad guy, but he's a survivor. And he's been surviving for a long time. You should be wary of him. This sword has a price, and Caden knows it. Always bear in mind that, in the colony, decisions have consequences sooner or later. I found this. I think it has relevant information about what happened in the elevator last night. Interesting. Very interesting. Apparently we have a mole, and the attack was premeditated. Gomez would love to know this. Good job, rookie. The truth is you're doing pretty well for your first day here. Should we go now then? Alright, let's go. Great. Follow me. Oh, we actually have to walk. Jesus Christ, this frame rate. Wow, so, 20. So, you show yesterday, eh? Okay, all of you stay where you are. Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> Very funny. The scene was actually pretty comical, at least to me. That's because it wasn't you risking your neck. If I'd have had a good sword, the fight would have gone differently. Of course. The champion of Corillis single-handedly defeats an army of nocturnal beasts. <laughs> I had them right where I wanted them, but then you had to come along. By the way, where are we? It looks like a theatre. It's actually an ancient temple that has seen different gods. You know, Inos, Adanos, and there you have him, Belia. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to check on these two first. He's still sat there. Okay. Well, let's catch up with Diego. I'm, I'm missing a big chunk of dialogue there. No, he's not talking anymore. We've we've missed it. We've lost it. <laughs> Shit. Oh well. It would have been Incidentally, Diego, oh. are there many rookies in the colony? Few alive. Even fewer sane. Out of the new arrivals, I believe just you. Even so, being the old camp's nanny is no easy task, as you saw for yourself. Well, you're pretty good at it. You look like you've been doing it all your life. No, rookie. Before landing in this cesspool, I had a more comfortable life. And a more interesting profession. Like everyone, I guess. Look, there's the guard post for the trade route. <laughs> Only two men guarding it. Yes, but what a pair. Especially Ori. He's a real character. Grouchy, loyal to the old camp, and a magnificent warrior. Whether it's with a sword, or in a beer drinking contest. Now he opens the fucking gate. Glossary, let me... Oh, I can't. We hardly even had two beers yesterday. Of course, Ori, don't you worry. It happens to the best soldiers. Although less to the sober ones. Back in this good old place. That's the entrance to the mine. Yeah. And have you got the bridge with the... Mall rat? The... 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 Rat thing. Yeah, we do. There's a the bridge. Ooh, a chest. It's that old, good old chest as well. Pick lock, arrows. Yeah, yeah. We have all those things. Sadly, no bow. Still. Um, tumbler, whatever. Have we got a pickaxe? Yes, we do. Is that... <laughs> oh, it's not a weapon, though. It's not. It's actually not a weapon. That's sad. Is it miscellaneous? Yes, it is. 
That's very sad. Let's go up here. Have a look. Right, so we have a scavenger over here. Instead of... One of those rat things. I'm, I'm gonna die. There's two. Of these... Here. Oh my god, the aim! Kill. Just batter this guy to death. Right, there's just one now. More of a chance. Strong attack. Missed, obviously. Right, retreat. Get your stamina back. Dodge. Fuck. Again. Again. Just don't miss. Again. Yeah, when these animals are dodging... There is no chance that you will actually connect the attack. That's it. They're just invincible in animation. Rice snaps. Nice little memento from the new camp, I believe. More on nuggets. Don't need any of those. Pickaxe. It's not a weapon, sadly. Um, sword. Rusty long sword. Is that the same as I am using now? Burned. Oh, this one is actually stronger. Very good. There it is. Um, can we go up here? Yes. Is there anything up here worth noting? Two blueberries. Okay. I think there was another Seraphis over there. Let's go pick it up. See if it has, if he has any healing... ...functions. Right. And let's heal. Scavenger sandwich. 15 points. Wait, no, that's way more. Wait. Temporary increase the total vitality by 15. How many does it heal? It doesn't say. But yeah, that seems to be pretty strong, actually. It, I'm, it's kind of confusing description. It says that it only heals... It will temporarily boost your um, HP by 15 points. But it doesn't actually say how many points it will heal when you eat it. That's the confusing bit. Right, let's go up here. This is where, in the original, there were a bunch of goblins up here. And, right, yeah, yeah, this is, we, we're here a bit too early. This is actually linked to the main quest of this teaser, so I'm going to go back and find Diego. Let's go this way. He's gone down here somewhere. Right, there's another scavenger over there. I'm gonna let him be. There's no point engaging with him. With it, I guess. Right, I have more rotten meat. Um, there's Diego. And another guard. Can we see the... Yes, there it is. There's the whole colony. Wait, is that a tower over there? No. But there we go. There is... Wow. It's actually... All of the things from... The original are there. And that's the old camp in Gomez's palace. Wow, that, that does take me back um, to the game that I just finished literally last week. <laughs> but hey-ho. Right, I guess we have to chat with this guy. Bloodwin. There he is. That dickhead. Hey, you're back. What do you need? Um, Drax and Ratford. I've not met them. An old camp in debt to the new camp. What? I don't. I've missed a massive chunk here Lord somewhere. Drax and Ratford. They are new camp hunters who normally work near the north gate of the old camp. And like good new camp scum, they can't be trusted. Yeah. They'll try to stab you in the back as soon as you turn around. They must be on the other side of the gate, then. An old camp soldier in debt to the new camp. Strange, isn't it? Watch your tongue. I'm an old camp guard. Not one of your kindergarten friends. <laughs> I don't have to give you any explanation. I need snapper meat. And a wolf tusk, that's all. That was the agreement. And the sooner I fulfill it, the sooner I'll forget about them. 
I well, do believe that I, I think have you them. got a mission, rookie. Wait, what? Don't worry, blood. He'll bring you what you owe. Oh, I haven't you got a snap of meat. <laughs> this guy could barely kill a cockroach. Hello, I'm here. Believe me, he has several hidden virtues. He only needs training, that's all. Have you seen any wolves or snappers nearby? Yeah, at the top, near the watchtower. I saw a wolf, and around the area, a snapper trying to catch some unsuspecting animal. What the hell is a snapper? You know, the snappers. You fought them last night. They're a little bigger than the scavengers. Don't worry, I'm sure you can handle them. Well, actually, the scavengers are the snapper's menu. Anyway, it'll be fun to see what you can do, kid. Bring me the snapper meat and the wolf's tusk, and we'll keep talking. Right, he looks a bit burnt under that helmet. Like, he's got a pretty bad degree of burn to his face, um, like the Hound from Game of Thrones. And this character is much different to that from the original, which is quite bad, because Bloodwin is actually one of the most memorable characters in the game, in my opinion. He just makes a, he just makes a very strong first impression. And look, if you look in the distance, you can actually see Xandas' Tower too. That's really cool. That is really cool. Uh, anyways, yeah, let's head up. Um, I do believe there's an elevator here that will take us to the watchtower. If it works. It seems to be working. Right, there it is. Save the game. Get on it. And pull the lever now. And go up. <clears throat> So there should be a snapper up here. Uh, hmm? Can we see any other camps? So the swamp camp would be over there somewhere. We cannot see that. And the new camp would be behind this rock wall there somewhere. Which we cannot see either. Now there is the snapper. Attracting animals with food. Right, okay, so... Yeah, whatever. We'll just fucking go in. Kill... This... Monstrosity. Oh, he deals a fair bit of damage. And it seems that while the enemies are dodging and they're invincible in that animation, I am not. So, let's heal up. And he is missing all of the attacks, obviously. And I have no stamina left. I haven't dealt much damage to this guy so far. Wait, am I using the right weapon? This one. I want to... Yeah, that one. Right, this should be better. Yeah, that is much better. That was a good few hits on him. We are about third of his health down. And he dodged the strong attack. And another one. Yeah, so I think he will dodge all of these strong attacks. Yeah, he, he seems to have it nailed down. Like a Dark Souls player. But he doesn't quite... He hasn't figured out this fast attacks yet. So that seems to be the one that will get him. And we are down to half of his health down. Let's heal. Uh, consumables, again, this. Oh, that's stamina, right. Eat those. There we go. Why am I not dodging? Oh, no stamina, right. Dodge back, wait for him to come up. Quick attack, dodge back, wait for him to come up. Attack, dodge back. Right, I think I figured out how to do this. Dodge. Wait for him to come up. Wait for him to come up. Attack. Back. Wait for him to come up. Attack. Dodge. Back. Wait for stamina to come back. Keep moving away. Right, there he is. Right, killed him. Loot snapper. Snapper meat. There we go. That's the quest item. We are ready to go back 
to Bloodwin and tell him that all is good. Scavenger. Right, let's have a go against the Scavenger with my new sword. Which takes a fourth quarter of his health in one hit. So that's really good. Wow, you're back. <laughs> and in one piece. I wasn't expecting this. Yes, it's been a very easy mission. It was enough to slay a huge wolf and a killer snapper, and all with this crappy What sword. wolf? I told you. This guy has what it takes to do the job. Good job for a rookie. Take this, and remember, you can always come to me at the old camp. Well, that's very generous of you. Not generous. Smart. If you need protection, I can provide it. Eh, for a small price. As long as you can afford it, of course. Yeah. Bloodwind doesn't lift a finger if there's no ore involved. That's his philosophy, isn't it? Eh, more or less. Well, rookie. Now I need you to go up to the oh, watchtower there you go. and extinguish the beacon. You remember I'm new here, right? What watchtower? In the colony, we use old abandoned towers to send messages remotely. A good flame is usually seen many miles away. That's it. Normally, it would be enough to knock on the door. But after the incidents of last night, Gomez has improved the security. And that's why the old camp soldiers will only open the door if they see that signal. And where's the watchtower? You can go up the road or take the elevator, as you prefer. It's at the top, near where Bloodwind saw the snapper. Once you're there, you can use this key to open the door. All right, I'm on it. I only hope this backtracking is not going to be as frequent in the in the in the remake uh, when it's finished because I hate this stuff. Like Gothic One, the original Gothic One loses so much of its charm in my arm in my in my eyes near the end of the game. We have to backtrack so many fucking times between between the Temple of the Sleeper and anywhere else or rather even like through the whole game you need to backtrack so many times from like the old camp to the swamp camp and so on it's just uh yeah it's just not good actually i'm gonna i'm gonna heal just in case because you never know what's gonna happen oh, there's another bridge of some sort ah can't go there though and it seems to be oh the barrier right the magical barrier. Uh, it, it's hmm. I'm not sure. What it look like in the original game it was a bit more foreboding. Like, I guess it was a bit darker. But I guess it does make sense to, for it to look this way. If it's a sunny day in the summer, like obviously the sky is going to be blue, and you know the sky will be reflected through the barrier, and therefore the barrier will look a bit brighter. So depending on the season of the year, I guess it makes sense that it is bright now. I know a lot of people really don't like the way this game looks. It's a bit too colourful, in their opinion. And I do agree with this to a point. But then again, you have to remember that at one point, all games were brown, dark, and grey. And we moved on from that style for a reason. I mean, Gothic did do it very well, but in general... If we allow all games to be brown, grey and dark, then it really limits the, uh, the the charm of the gaming industry in general. Because everyone will be trying to do the same thing. But here we have it. The whole colony. Wow. What can we see from here? We still cannot see the new camp. Old camp in its old glory. It's just over there, and this, it seems to be a very close recreation of what it was in the original game. So that's cool. Sadas's tower over there. And that's the tower. I, I believe that's this is where. Um, this is the fortress where Lester was looking for the document of ownership, or maybe the the monastery ruins where you find Ursh. Was it was it Urshak? Yeah, the the the, sh the shaman. And the swamp camp is not there either. I cannot really see it. Although maybe if you stand here. No. No, it's covered by the forest. 
Right, so what have we here? Some more bottles. Yeah, I don't need any more bottles. I'm not really collecting litter all over the colony, am I? Use the beacon. But yeah, they could, they could tone down the colors, to be fair. You can still make it look colorful, but not this colorful. There's just way too much of it in, in this trailer teaser. I keep fucking up. It's not a trailer. It's it's a teaser. So yeah, I think this is it. I think this is the end of it now. If you speak when you speak to Diego and we go down to for to not for us, Bloodwind. This is it. So let's have a chat. See what happens. And demo finished the game. Okay. Ooh, that little theme from the Welcome original to game. New home. And this is just the beginning. That is cool as fuck. And there is a survey at the end of this, I believe, that you fill out and give them some feedback on what you think of the teaser. So that they can use it to develop the game in the future, which they are doing now. They, they actually had such a positive feedback from the community about this remake that they are actually making a remake of Gothic 1 somewhere in the background. Um, so let's see. Did you enjoy the game? Let's take the survey. Why not? Oh, it's taking me to internet. Um, we will... Yeah, it's it's now locked. It's now closed. They don't really take surveys any, anymore because obviously they've agreed to take the project on and develop it. So yeah, while it was a bit buggy and messy, obviously this isn't a finished product in any stretch of imagination. Um, yeah, it's a it's a good premise. I think it's a good idea. They have a lot to work on, um, but they did receive a lot of feedback from the community, so they should be. So they should know what they're doing now, and uh, you know what was nice in this remake and what wasn't. Um, so yeah, that was it. Um, let me know what you think of it, what you thought of it, if you played it. Um, what did you think? How did, how did it feel to you? The combat, the movement, the exploration, the quest, um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.